They said she finally lost her brave battle with cancer. And I wanted to answer that Joe would never choose to be remembered as a fighter. Said that when she died, that meant she didn't fight hard enough to live. She said, trust me. No one wants to live as much as the dying do. But cancer isn't an enemy. You can't pin it down with arrows and axes. Tactics and attacks won't work. Cancer isn't a battle. It's just this thing that happens. Like cars crashing. And she begged me not to blame her. She said, blame God or blame doctors, whoever we put faith in, whoever was meant to be a saviour. She said, do me a favour. Don't remember me as a failure. So I never told her to fight. Instead, I told her good luck. And towards the end, I told her die indignantly because it always made us laugh inappropriately. And that's who she'll always be to me. Not some bleeding heart plugged into bleeping machines, but my friend who giggled on her deathbed, joking about a dad who couldn't bear to see her. And yeah, she said it was because he was stereotypically Asian. A shame that she was a patient instead of a physician, but in between the laughter, I reminded her, mate, I've met him. His name's Ian. <laughs> He's from Watford. <laughs> she said, sometimes the truth is so scary, all you can do is laugh in the face of it. Whenever anyone asked her cancer, she would answer, no, Capricorn. <laughs> I don't want to mourn Joe who lost. I want to remember Magic Joe. Joe who danced through these streets with no hat and no hair and no wig and no cares because when you have an inoperable tumour at the base of your skull, who gives a fuck who stares? She had bigger things to deal with than their rejection, bigger dreams to live than their acceptance. That darkness that made them so scared to live, well, she was singing into it right up until the end. My friend was a haymaker. Aimed at every basement cautious and suspicious. She was signing her own death sentence with kisses. She lived more in 20 years than most lifetimes can envisage. And if you gave her three wishes, she would have spent them all fixing a world that now misses her. She has left this shining, soul-shaped hole like a fissure. She said, so many people worry about being safe and warm. Me? I want to be a thunderstorm. I want everyone to feel my force. And sure, some might get caught in the downpour, but I hope they dance in the rain. Scream their names into exploding skies. Realize there is so much more to this life than being safe and being dry. And I am proud to say she poured over me. Taught me the beauty of every sunset and every night sky, every blossom, every landscape, every bright pair of eyes. She has catalyzed my life into a stream of opportunities that she'll never see. She said, don't cry for me. Live for me. Be everything that you can be. Sing my name into the rain and the wind in the same way on those same days that really let me live. Give everything you are to this world and you will see. Cancer didn't beat me. It was just this thing that happened. Thanks very much, guys. You've been nice. <laughs>